Hey there guys, Elise here with TGG Gaming, and uh, I wanted to show off my Infernoble Knight deck. Uh, deck just came out in full power right now, uh, and it's pretty nice. I don't know if it's going to be the best deck, but it's definitely a serious contender you need to watch out for in this upcoming meta. So, I figure we show that off and then just show off a couple basic combos. So, <laughs> anyways, let's get into it. Uh, so, for the Noble Knight count, it's going to be three Renaud, three Oliver, uh, one Ogier, one Astolfo, and then I guess we'll just throw this in the one Gear Freed. So, Renaud is the best one just because, like, it's the overall extender and it also just adds stuff back. It's, like, the easy extender to, like, play with. So, kind of need to play three play oliver feet, lets you uh have recovery plays and um, so it's kind of important too and also just you know another extender if you need it uh, it really helps you recover when you get like nibiru and stuff and then like these are also really important too because if you open one of these in addition to one of your normal summons or like real normal summons and then you can end a little bit better too so i'll show that off at the end um i really like this card a lot just because if you open this and renaud uh, you can also end with the gear freed, uh, but it's not really as consistent, and like, you have to, actually it's to open this in like Chalice or Durendal, but the point is, that's like the only way to guarantee gear freed, but it's not always optimal. Uh, Stolfo's not that great, but it's still a decent extender, so you kind of need it, and then gear freed, uh, three just clogs and bricks, you'd rather just focus on your regular combo pieces, so you don't really want more. Um, I would consider two, but space is tight right now, and we're trying to cut it to 40, so uh, three sublimination knights, and then the one squeak knight for the first normal summon package, uh, and then three connector, and the one dolphin for the second normal summon package. Um, they both have their uses. Uh, the Sublimination Knight is probably a little bit better solely because it's a fire, so it comes up a little bit more with like the Renaud and whatnot. Um, plus, you can search it off of more cards. So uh, then play two Firefront Lady as one of the other extenders. Um, the card's pretty decent. Uh, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's just a good extender, but it's only a once per turn, you already have enough extenders, so you don't need more. Uh, we play the one red layer. It's the main is soul target, so just one is enough. Uh, it's part of your combo, so that's another extender going first if like you have a weird hand. Um, and then going into some of the tuners, uh, first one is Genba. So this is what you mainly summon off of soul. You can either play this or TG Striker, but it being a level two helps facilitate the combo a lot better, which. I'll show off at the end. And the rest is Jet and O-Line for the other standard combo pieces in every combo deck lately. Um, cards are nuts. And then for the first part of the hand trap package, three gamma, one driver. Uh, the hand traps in this deck are kind of curated to help beat Zexel while being the best hand traps possible in this deck. And gamma just does that. Uh, Card's kind of insane right now, just for how versatile it is. So that's it for the monsters. Spells, three heritage. Um, you always kind of want to see this card, just so you can guarantee access to Durendal in your opening hand, just because Durendal is so insane. Speaking of, for quit spells, free Durendal, uh, one Phoenix Blade, and one Smoke Grenade. Uh, you could be playing like Living Fossil or a couple others, but since we're trying to keep it a 40, as long as like you don't open an insanely weird hand. You really don't need that many more equips. Like, this is fine. You already have enough natural extenders in your deck to where it's not a big deal. Uh, one Rota, you have to play it. And then Midbreaker, just to, since some of the most popular hand traps are like Gamma, Imperm, and uh, Ogre, this guarantees you just combo and it's just one space in the deck, not a big deal. And then for the last card in the deck, three Imperm. It's one of the best hand traps right now. Change my mind. Or don't. Uh, <laughs> and for extra deck, two is sold. Uh, you need two for the follow up in case they hand trap you to oblivion. It lets you, you know, play on later turns. Uh, the one link cross. Uh, need it. Uh, the card's insane right now. Hux Fabrax. That card's also insane. This card's also insane. Good old Aurora Dawn. A lot of broken combo cards we have to play these days. And then for the flex slots, it's a phoenix and a unicorn, just so you can play out of like 
backward x or weird yeah, situations. Yeah, it's just there, because you kind of need it. It's not yeah, amazing, but you just dragon. need them kind of. For Synchros, we got the Roland and the Charles. You only need one of each, but these cards are super insane. Like, the fact that with all the stuff you can do with this card, it's so good. And then the synergy between these two is nice. And then your other end board pieces, uh, Savage and Herald, and then combo pieces to get there, the Marcher, Tatsunoko, and Omega. The Omega is actually part of the combo, which I'll show the main combo at the end, but you actually need this. And it's also a recurrable card. You can put back like any Mystic Extract piece you need or put something back if you need something else. So this card can actually come up a bit. And also obviously can sum it off of, you know, if you have to gam on your turn, it's an option. And then last card is a formula, just in case you get hand traps and, or uh, you open a weird hand and you need to go into this to get the draw or whatnot. The card's pretty nice. And then for the side deck that we have right now, uh, two Ash and three Nibiru. This is all the space we had for hand trap space. Um, like, there's not much else that's really necessary. I'd let. I would like to fit in Ogre, but we also just need stuff for back removal because backer decks still exist for some reason. So three Lightning Storm, three Twin Twister, one Red Reboot, just to help deal with the backer decks because we don't really have a good way to do it main deck. Then last card is Triple Tactical Talents, and there's three of them. Uh, so this card's like, except for the fact that they're all borrowed. <laughs> I'm so rich. This is interesting. So, uh, mm -hmm. realistically, we would want to main deck it, but it's so hard to justify cutting any of the cards in the main deck. But this card has so many uses in this deck. Um, like, I don't know, this card, a lot of people either overhype it or uh, underhype it in the sense that they think it's going to be trash. I think this card is like really good uses and it's only gonna get better as people understand how to use it more so it's like a better call by the grave uh let's you go second a little bit better like it just has so much utility uses that yes so that's it for the deck list a quick show off the main combo and then we can go into shout outs and whatnot so literally all you need to do a combo is one of your normal summons so we'll just go with sublimination night and then if we'll go over at the end one other card you could open to facilitate doing everything else so you'll normal summon the sublimination knight um effect will let you play the squeak knight squeak knight summon itself uh, link these away for the oh no sold sold is going to add you the no Red Lair, which it's an essential combo piece because we have Tatsunoko. Uh, then a soul will send some equip spells. So most likely the best cards to send right now are going to be uh, Divine Sword and uh, Durendal because you'll be able to get access to the smoke grenade later anyways. And then you'll summon your level 2 warrior. In this case, we're playing Genba. Uh, so summon Genba. Then... We can go into the Link Cross. And Link Cross effect summons two tokens. So we'll just use these for now. Um, these will go away for the Martial Metal Marcher. Marcher will bring back the Genda. And then uh, you can go with these two. Uh, the token, the last token from uh, Link Cross and the Genba, into Tatsunoko. And then you can use the Tatsunoko in your uh, to sync with the Red Layer in your hand to bring out the Borload Savage, which lets you do that before you even have to make Needle Fiber. Uh, so you'll do that to attach the Sold, and then you can finally go into. The needle fiber so if they didn't hand trap you here you now have a hand trap protection which is really nice uh needle fiber will get out the jet synchron so you need another machine to be able to make aurora on so then you go immediately into aurora on aurora on effect summon three tokens i don't have the nice tokens forgive me 
Um, and then you use a roar down effect to get the O line out of deck. Wherever my O line is. And then you'll make the uh, Roland right here. So then you would go chain link one Roland, chain link two O line. You need to activate this now because yet it's like Bismagear where you have to activate it when it triggers. It's not like Skarm, for example. So activate it now so you get its end phase search and send. And then the O line to get back a token. And then here is where you make the Omega. And then since. And so in this instance, if you have other cards in hand you don't care about keeping, uh, you can discard it to summon the Jet Synchron, but since we have the Phoenix Blade in Grave, we can just banish any two warriors that we don't need, add back the Phoenix Blade, discard that, and summon the Jet Synchron, Jet will get banished, along with the Omega, to summon the uh, Charles. And then, uh, so how it'll be different is if you open either uh, an Oliver or a Renaud, because uh, you'll still have the one token left over, uh, the most optimal one, let's, let's just say it's Renaud or even way too Renaud, you summon the Renaud, Renaud lets you add back the uh, Durendal engrave, so then you have follow it for next turn as well. And then you can make these two uh, maybe, into uh, uh, the, the Herald. But if you didn't have that, then like you're still ending on these two, and you're still gonna get a hand rip because at end phase we're gonna go for the uh, roll and effect in graveyard. So that'll let you send any equip. So we're gonna send the smoke grenade, and then that'll let us add a warrior. So typically. You just add Renaud so you have more follow-up. And then uh, Charles will trigger. Uh, so Charles can equip one spell from Grave and then one monster from deck. So typically here you equip the O-Gear just because it has more generic protection. Uh, you can equip uh, Oliver instead if you want to protect from targeting. But then these two get equipped. Charles gets to pop this and that'll get you a hand rip. So one card gets you these and a hand rip. But if you have an extra card you can also end with an extra negate so that's the basics as far as combos go there's a lot of different variations there's a lot of ways to play out of opening your bricks of o-lion and uh opening genba and the deck is a lot of expansive play strings so i think it's really interesting it's gonna take a lot of time to you know figure everything out fully but this is definitely a deck we're with worth looking into so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh just quick shout outs uh Shout out to Justin Singh because he gave me the list and actually taught me all these combos. Um, yeah, obviously I can't learn on my own. Uh, and then shout out to Jesus who's lending me the Renauds and the uh, Gear Freeds while I'm waiting for mine in the mail. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and keep, stay tuned for more dual videos, deck profiles. If there's anything else you want to see, leave a comment down below and we'll be able to Get something going for you guys. Thank you.